This video was recorded in a closed training environment. Refer to the manual and adhere to your company's safety practices while in the field. To begin, make sure the system is fully de-energized. Let's start the installation process. Start with connecting communication wires, as it will be difficult to access the communications terminal block after the AC wires have been landed. We've hardwired this inverter to the internet, and if you have follower inverters, now is the time to wire your 600 volt shielded RS485 wire in the RS485 in and or out terminals located in the bottom left hand corner of the connection unit. The RS485 in is for the previous connected device like a commercial gateway or another inverter and the out is for the next device in the RS485 bus. Before we move to the connection and landing of the AC conduit and wires, it's important to note that the use of 600 volt barrel type compression lugs as well as applying heat shrink around the barrel lugs is required. The lugs must be a maximum tongue width of 0.9 inches and a thickness of 0.16 inches, as well as have a bolt hole size of 5 sixteenths of an inch. We recommend using Burndy lugs as they meet all the necessary requirements. Note that Burndy lugs are tin-plated copper material and are not compatible with aluminum cable. After securing the conduit, land your AC wires. Start with the ground wires. The terminal block will be inaccessible after the AC wires are landed. Also ensure that it is tightened within a torque spec of 15 newton meters or 12 foot-pounds. Now it's time to land our AC wires in the terminal blocks. And as you can see, our two out wires with the Burndy lugs fit perfectly in the AC terminal blocks. Once the wires are secured to the terminal blocks, using the bolts that come with the terminal blocks, tighten them to 8 to 14 newton meters or 71 to 124 inch pounds. The last step is landing your DC wires. Trim and attach the DC wires one tier at a time, starting with the bottom tier and then moving to the top. You're all set! Following these best practices will simplify the installation process and help achieve long-lasting results. Thanks for joining us today. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos.